Uh, hi guys, so I'm the new host with Plugin India. I'm also an EV owner, just like most of you are. I own a MG ZS EV car, and I'm really happy with the car. And I'm an EV enthusiast, like most of us here are. And I uh, love driving EV. I love talking about EVs. So I think I'm, I'm at a place where we have a very like-minded person here, uh, who's also an EV enthusiast. He's also a part of our community already, and we can see his beautiful house. That it's, you know, it's located in one of the beautiful location, and we can see the solar panels here. And he already has two electric vehicles. And so there's another new beautiful car which is parked there. We cannot wait to test drive the car. So that is the uh, new Tata Tiago EV. In today's video, we are going to be uh, uh, covering the regenerative braking feature. We are going to compare uh, the regen feature between these three cars, between the classic E2O, the uh, Tata Nexon, and the Tata Tiago EV. Come, let's go. Car number one, this is Tata Nexon EV Max. Hi, uh, we have Sagar here from the community. Hi, Sherry. Hi, could you please tell us what is the state of charge and uh, yeah. the DTE? Right now, the SOC is at 80%. Okay. And uh, the DTE is at 293 kilometers. Great. So, let's see now if we can get some energy back while we drive uh, downhill. Sure, hop in. Hi. <laughs> so, we see that the state of charge is 80% now yeah. and the DTE is around 2 293 kilometers, kilometers right yeah. so let's see how it goes and we are at region 3 region Great. level 3 so yeah. right now i'm not pressing any accelerator the mm -hmm. car is automatically going on its own and in fact for region for like steep downhills mm -hmm. region 3 is perfect you don't need to brake oh. the car just you know so what down. happens if you're in re region 2 Region 2 also the car goes down, but it goes down a little faster. So now this is Region oh, 2. Wow, I can see that yeah, the, the kilometer car, is already changing. And yeah. the, oh, it's a beautiful location, I must say. I mean, Thank it's you so best much. to try out all your features, what you have. Yeah. Uh, for the Nexon, I get quite a decent amount of region when I'm, you know, going downhill from here. Uh, it's close to 1% that battery gain that I have. Wow. And in fact, I've seen that the car goes almost 7 kilometers in that 1%. That's quite a lot, right? Yeah. I mean, that's really cool feature we have. Yeah. So, uh, just like to add basically that when you are coming up, mm -hmm. you're losing a lot of battery. Yes. You are going When you're going down, you're getting majority of it back. Right. In the form of a regenerative battery. So, does your wife also drive the car? Yeah, she does. Does she enjoy yeah. driving EV? I saw that you have so many cars in your house. Yeah. So, which is much. your favorite car? <laughs> I would say the E2O, but <laughs> wow. currently, yeah, this is quite a. I mean, the Nexon drive is much more comfortable. So. Is it more for highways and stuff, or is it also a good car for a city drive? Uh, it's decent for a city drive, also. I mean, it's not that big to drive in the city, but right. uh, the most comfortable car to drive in the city I felt is the E2 only because it's like it's Small almost yeah, compact. it's almost like driving a scooter. I still don't see the state of charge increasing yet. No, it just, it's just not. shows yeah. around 80 percent. Yeah, it might not increase, but it will regain it will regain region. a lot of kilometers. Hmm. That's there. So now I'm not pressing anything. Hmm. It's just going on its but own. But I see that 292 kilometers. Yeah. Oh, the battery is too big. Hmm. So for a person to increase, right. you we at need least need two three kilometers of stretch. Uh, right. Yeah, regenerative stretch. Where you're not pressing hmm. accelerator or anything. If you see the watt hour per kilometer. Mm. It was at 185. Uh, now it uh, it is at 174 watt hours per kilometer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that has dropped Correct. a lot. Though we don't see the increase in the state of charge, exactly. but there's a there's definitely an increase in the kilometers, and the efficiency is reduced. So that's great. 
Hi, we are back at this beautiful bungalow and then this was a spot, beautiful spot where we started our drive from. So we are back here again. So we started with a state of charge at 80%. So by the time we were back again here, it was around 78%. So even though there was not a big change which we saw in the state of charge while uh, we were going downhill, so uh, because the kilometers we drove was not a lot for the regeneration to happen. But we definitely did see a difference in the kilometers. By the time we were back, we can see that we drove around 5 kilometers and 2% of battery, which shows that there was definitely a region which happened when we went downhill. And now, the classic. The classic. We're going to drive the guess E2O. So therefore, I test drove it over here. Man. <laughs> now, after that car, it will look... Car number two. So, uh, this is most of our favorite car, E2O. We have Sagar again here from the community. Hi, Sagar. Could Hi. you please tell us what is the state of charge here and the DTA? Yeah. So, right now, it is at 87% Yes. the SOC. Okay. And the DTE is 80, 80 kilometers. So, we all know that this car regains energy like anything. So, let's experience it, guys. Come. I can already see that you have driven around 62,000 kilometers. Yeah. You must be having a lot of interesting stories to share. Yeah? yeah, I mean this car is really close to the heart, of course. And many people, sure. many people love this car. Right. So, initially, yeah, when this car was new, I mean, I have taken this car on long drives also. Like, destinations to like Bombay, Mahabaleshwar, Wow. Nagar, Shirdi, we have gone to all such places when it was new of course. Mm -hmm. Do you have this region mode in this or is that just the one mode? No, there is no region mode in this, mm -hmm. it is just a natural region and uh, yeah, it just goes on its own. Okay. And we are not accelerating. You can see over here that it is regenerating, you right, can see on right. the screen wow, that it is This is really showing. interesting. Yeah. I mean. And, uh, I can already see that it's gone up to 87% yeah, yeah. So, uh, so wow, why is it increasing so fast, you know, the yeah. region, what we're seeing in this car is like, I don't big difference, right? The sounds of this yeah. Because, uh, I believe it's because, uh, you know, this is a smaller battery pack, mm -hmm. so the capacity to regenerate region. is higher of the cells. Yes. yes. So, yeah. Wow, I can just hear the sound, it just... I don't know, it sounds really like a sports car. Futuristic. Futuristic. <laughs> wow, I can just imagine the drive with this car to Bombay. <laughs> Must have been crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was just me and my father actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just the two of us. So what was his experience like? Was he okay? I mean, yeah. because I see you have so many other ice cars, right? I mean, yeah. was he okay with this car? Yeah, I mean, he also used to love this car. Mm -hmm because of the, you know, no noise, first of all. Right. And the comfort. Uh, the comfort of an EV is completely different. There are no vibrations, there are no, you know, True. hot airs blowing. It's impressive to know that your father really values all this because yeah. our generation, we really understand all these things, right? Yeah. I mean, convincing the older generation because you have really big cars, yeah. I see. Yeah. And then, you know, getting in this smaller car and going to a place like Bombay and so yeah, so when I had gone to Bombay from this mountain home itself, I was going to Lower Parel. So that time my car was new. Okay. And I did not have to charge even once while going. Wow. Because That's... of the regenerative capacity that this car has. So did you know then or did you just explore? No, yourself? I was just you know, Exploring uh, yeah, no frills drive. Like okay. let's like go and check it out. Wow. Kind of a drive. That's so, interesting. Yeah, this car usually goes 120 kilometers in one charge. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. So the 40 kilometers regeneration was all in the cart of Lonaula. Wow, that's so like unbelievable. That, yeah, it was absolutely thrilling. And I reached Lower Parel with 6% remaining. <laughs> <laughs> so that was unbelievable. While coming back from Bombay, I had to charge this car at Lonaula. Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, not possible because while coming it is up here. Right. And I charge at Lonaula like for 20 30 percent. But did you have a charging station there? Yeah, or? there as in uh, this car can't do a fast charge. Yes, yes. We have to do a wall yeah. mounted charge. Mm -hmm. So we did it at Lonaula nice. at a hotel. And uh, yeah, while coming back 
I felt that the charge was sufficient to reach back home. Mm-hmm. But uh, through this cart, it went up and it stalled at like oh, after oh. going up, it stalled. Oh, and then what did you do? I mean, then yeah, this car has a farming. very secretive, you know, tool that we can use. Uh-huh. Which so, is? Which is like there is a revive button that you can press and wow, where the is battery. It? The battery region regains like eight kilometers. So if you're oh, stalled wow. or something, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you can just you know press this button over here. Great. Go to my car. This is something new for me. I haven't yeah, heard about revive. this revive and thing. And you go to this. You yeah, press this yeah. revive. Wow, that's such a cool feature. Yeah, right? and if once you press it over here, it will mm. like. It's such a it savior. Regain I'm eight sure. kilometers. So that that's how you know we reached home. Wow. So uh, this car, I believe, even though it was like one of the first cars, yeah. it still had one of the few coolest features, which yeah. the new cars also don't have, I suppose. Absolutely. And uh, I mean, in times like that, when you have this revive, it's like they have given a lot of thought behind this car. Right? Yeah. So we've not lost even a percent of uh, battery. We can see, see that you know the SOC is around 87 percent. Thanks, Agar. So this is an awesome car. Now I know why people still love E2O. Yeah. And uh, it was a great experience, you know, sitting in this car and experiencing the drive. The interesting feature that this car had, this had, this car had a mobile connectivity. So okay. I, I could, you know, start the AC, start the car. Having the Nexon, I can tell you that the add-on feature that that there was you in this here. car yeah. was like. I could start and stop the charging of this car from my mobile app. Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, yeah. I mean, even the Tata car does not have that. Yeah. They've given so much thought into this car. You know, it's like they've set a benchmark already to the new gen cars. Absolutely. We are back again, guys, to this beautiful location. I just can't get enough of this beautiful location. So when we are back again here, it is around 78 uh, percent now. So reason being that when we were going uh, downhill, we saw that there was no uh, battery drain which happened. The SOC was still at the same percentage, but because it's a, it drains a lot when we come uphill because it's a small car, it's a smaller battery, so it discharges really at a high speed. That's all about it, guys. So let's try the newest car we have now. Car number three, we have Tata Tiago EV, the new car. So we here, here we have Sagar again, the same community guy. Hi Sagar, Hi. could you please tell us the same thing again? What is the state of charge here yeah. and what is the range? Sure, the SOC is 79% Okay. and the range is 172 kilometers. Great. So let's see how this car is going to perform. So let's take a drive again. So here we are in this new Tiago yeah. EV. Yeah. So how do you feel Sagar? I mean. You have two EVs already in your house. Yeah. So do you find any difference in this car? How does it feel? Yeah, it's quite good. In fact, uh, being a small car, I like small cars. Mm-hmm. And for a small car, this is quite roomy. It's quite spacious. So do you like the uh-huh. like space, what it has and yeah. the interiors? And yeah, it's quite decent. I mean, okay. the interiors, they could have done it a little bit better. Right. But uh, yeah, it's fine. And the acceleration is quite nice. Okay. And this car also comes with three region modes. So, which is the region mode we are in right, right now? Right now we are in zero. Okay. But yeah, let's go to region, let's try out three. region yeah. three. Mm-hmm. So that we can, you know, test the regenerative capacity of this car now. Right. So, yeah, again, we have started with no acceleration. As in no accelerator, no brake. The car right. is going on its own. And it's doing pretty well, I would say. I mean, in the Nexon Max, at region 3, mm-hmm. it's very aggressive. The right. car used to slow down, as in it slow down, it slows down very fast. This is not the case with the Tiago EV. Right, you can already feel that, yeah. that it's at a good speed. So there's a slight sound which I can hear in this uh, motor, in this car, yeah. right? Yeah. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did. I mean, it's a lot more, I mean, as compared to the next Nexon, one, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, I couldn't feel that when we were driving yeah. that car. It felt quite uh, in the silent. Nexon, it's in fact not there only. Yeah. In this car, there is quite a bit of buzz. Right, we can, right. We can hear. I 
already have two EVs. Yeah. But uh, yeah, with the Tiago EV, I don't know. I might sell a few ice cars and probably buy the Tiago EV. Right. But not yet sure. Okay. Like, so is the SOC increasing? No, it yeah it it, it was at seventy eight, and now again it has gone to seventy nine. Fantastic. Wow, fantastic! Yeah. I can already see that it's it's increased by one person. Yeah. Right? Because we couldn't see this increase in both the cars. Yeah. We rode rode the same distance, right? Yet it's it's great. Uh, is this the first time you're try, uh, doing this test drive, Sagar? Yeah. With this car? Yeah. With the Tiago EV, this is the first time I'm driving this mm -hmm. car. Feels quite fun to drive, actually. Yeah. I can say that already. I mean, the pickup is very nice. Right. And the region levels are quite effective also. I think this region level is going to make a big difference, right? Because that's what people are going to look at when you travel. Yeah, yeah. Especially in Maharashtra, the right. regenerative energy should be given quite a lot of importance because it's all the terrain is quite hilly and correct, you know, correct. So it's quite beneficial in our state. I hope they come up with some nice fancy colors. <laughs> All right, so I think we almost uh, reached the bottom of yeah. the hill, and we can see that uh, yeah, we still gain one person, right? Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, so uh, I think it's already increased to seventy nine percent. So we can see that there is already a efficiency increase in the efficiency of this vehicle because we did the same with the other two cars. Yeah. So definitely, there is an improvement in the technology. Yeah. Hi guys. So what we've learned today is that. Uh, how important the regenerative braking is. We've seen with the three different cars, the regenerative uh, percentage was different. It varied from car to car. But we all know at the end of the day, it's very important for us to get more mileage, more range. And uh, it's very important. It's one of the key features in all the EVs uh, we look forward to. So what I've learned today is that, you know, I'm definitely going to, I have a uh, MG car. So I'm definitely going to keep a watch on my uh, region feature. And uh, I hope you also take a look at this regenerative uh, braking thing when you're traveling and it's it's good that we are getting more energy for free guys if you already booked this tata uh, uh, tiago ev i think you've made a right choice because the acceleration is great and the region feature is great and i really like the uh, space in the car it's quite comfortable and uh, yeah i think you've made just a right choice and if this video was helpful to you please go ahead and smash the like button